I'm going to show you how to delete a snapshot safely in VirtualBox. We see a 2016 server running here. And if we open up our VirtualBox manager, we can see our server. So I'm going to start out by right clicking and choosing take. And we'll just leave the default name snapshot one. So it's creating a new snapshot. And depending on the speed of the computer, it could take a few seconds up to a few minutes. Now, when we go to delete our snapshots, we really have to be patient because a lot of times uh, it does take more than just a few minutes to finish. I've seen some take hours, and I've actually seen a couple that took several days. It really depends on how much data you have, how long it's been there, and uh, that's because the files merge together, and that takes a while on some computers. All right, so I have taken a snapshot of my computer. I'm going to go back in. You can do this while the computer is running, by the way. You don't have to do it when it's off. I'm going to go and I'm going to make a change and add a file. And so that way we can make sure that we're actually getting the right snapshot. Okay, I'm going to create a new text file. And I'm going to say new snapshot. That's all I'm going to do. All right, now I'm going to go and I'm going to shut down my virtual machine. Now it's shut down and we see the original snapshot that is now snapshot one and we see the current state which is now changed. So I'm going to go back to my snapshot right above it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose delete. Now click delete and what's going to happen is we're going to see the files merge together. So that's what's happening right now. Now that didn't, that didn't take a long time because uh, I had just created a snapshot and only made a change to one file. But like I said, it may take a long time if you've had the snapshot around for a while. Now what if you have multiple snapshots? Well, you can delete any snapshot that's behind your current one. But what I recommend is you delete the one just before it and then just the one before that and just the one before that. Don't start at the very top. Let's say you have 10 snapshots. Don't start at the top and work your way down. Start at the bottom and work your way up and you'll have less issues. All right, so let's right click on our VM. I want to show you about one other issue that you could run into before you start this up, and that has to do with the network. So if I click on network, we see enable network adapters there, and you might even have additional network adapters turned on as well. So what I suggest you do is you uncheck those. And the reason for that is because it, in the, uh, when you do the deletion of the snapshot, it's going to delete the network adapter that's on the operating system at the same time and what's in the BIOS or the UEFI. And I found that if you don't go in and uncheck the enable network adapter, you'll get an error when you try to boot up the snapshot, after, I'm sorry, the, uh, the current snapshot after having deleted the older ones. So we'll click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start up my virtual machine without any snapshot behind it. And now it's booting up. And we see Windows is almost up all the way. Looking good. And the reason you want to hang out at this point is just to make sure that we see the latest data. So you know that when you delete your older snapshots, you haven't deleted any current data. All right, our Windows server is back up. Let's just confirm that our file is there. And we're back in Windows. So I'm going to open up our File Explorer and make sure that that file that we created after adding the snapshot is still there. And there it is, new snapshot. So deleting the old snapshots did not delete any of my new data. Now what you want to do is you want to shut down the virtual machine because you've got to have networking back, right? So we want to shut that down and we want to add back in that network adapter and then you can restart again. And then you can set up your TCP IP settings so that way you can get access to the other VMs as well as the internet. Now if you do get this message that says there's a certain instruction error, don't worry about that. That is a message, a message that just goes away on its own. It doesn't seem to affect anything. And it happens at about a third of the Windows uh, server installations that I've seen. All right, so I'm gonna go back, click on settings 
and go to network and now I can check the network adapter and you can choose uh, one of these that you need to communicate and if you're not sure what those mean check out my playlist and I go through what each of these different adapters means so I'm gonna go with NAT in this case and click OK and now I should be able to uh, start back up again and that is how you delete a snapshot in VirtualBox I strongly suggest you don't use VirtualBox in a production setting and of course use at your own risk. Make sure you have backups before you do this. We don't want you to lose any important data.